Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Barry Chapel coming to you live at Primetime Shopping Network here in Hollywood, California. Let me just ask the operators, do I have a show tonight? Oh, yes. Do I have a show tonight, Kiki? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kiki, is this better than nine out of the ten movies you make? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, yes it is. Uh, I got a show. I have 10 original oil on canvas by a master painter, Oleg Javedin, master graduate from the Surikov. And it's funny because I got a long time, to, a lot of time to talk with him. And the style that you see here now is a style that he invented at the Surikov. And he told me a lot of stories about uh, Vasily Ivanov Surikov, who is a amazing painter. He died, but he paints these huge battle scenes. And he said, this is Oleg speaking, well, he was blown away at school at the Surikov is when Mr. Surikov, the artist, would paint. He would pick actual models, and they'd be doing a battle scene. And the painting might be 25 feet by 20 feet. And he would say, OK, you, uh, you know, in your overalls, you, you nice lady, you carry wine. And he would actually pay all these people to stand in that position while he painted it. And Oleg thought that was interesting. And once again, he's a master graduate of the Surikov. Uh, I was getting some facts that to date, no American has ever graduated. I believe 22 have accepted and got through the first year but never finished. It's a very tough school, technically painting. But what Oleg's point is, I can do the same thing. My style I invented at the Surikov without paying actors and people to stand around. I can convey a motion where Surikov was total realism, Russian realism, romanticism. I can do it too using symbols. To date, this painting, in my humble opinion, is the greatest single Oleg I have ever seen. Three Graces was good, but this one right here, Remembrance, I think is probably one of the strongest Oleg's I've ever seen him paint in all the time I have known Oleg Shvetin. He was born in Uzbekistan, and I was asking him about that, 2062. This is the first time I finally got to meet Oleg in 2005, I think, four, five, or six. He worked for Collector's Editions, and every time I talked to people I knew worked at Custom, no, he lives in Russia. And he did, he lived in California. And that's what started a 25 year, 20 year relationship with Oleg. Brilliance. And uh, what I love about this is the face in the face, the way he splits the canvas, and how he uses every geometrical shape. He was telling about that. He says, You know, in the United States, they did that once early in the 1920s, 1915 to 1928. 30, then again in the 35, 1940. Now all of a sudden they come back and they think it's new. It's not new. This, Wilson, that is just absolutely, that's an original oil on canvas by Oleg Javetin. He was born in Uzbekistan. And he was telling me, you know, and I said, so going 
to the Surikov, you know, you feel any pressure? And he said, no. He said, because the old Russian system, they pay me to go there. Now, what, what he doesn't tell you is he applied when he was uh, 15, unex not accepted, when he was 17. Uh, he, when he didn't get into the Surikov at 15, he went and got a degree in teaching art. And he was 17 or 19, he was accepted. And he ended up getting the highest, the masters of art from the Surikov, which very few people get. And he is technically one of the greatest artists I've ever met in my entire life. And I think, you know, it's funny because here's just a picture of an average class. It's not an average, like I saying, it's an average class at Harvard. You're at the Surikov there. And I said, Oleg, my customers are going to ask me, what is your favorite painting? And this is my favorite painting, but let me show you what Oleg Oops. Set is his favorite painting. It's entitled, and Ole had all the titles Looking into Space. Now I asked Oleg, I said, that's amazing. I said, that is a monochromatic masterpiece. And he says, Barry, you think this is a very tough painting for me to paint because you see black, you see gray, you see off gold, a little bit of green in the eyes. But what makes this one painting? He asked me, he says, Barry, even though you got faces and faces and geometrical shapes and geometrical shapes, which is now big in U.S., but was done in Russia a long time ago in the United States earlier. Oleg asked me, what do you think made this whole painting? Take a look at it. What one piece makes this whole painting? Now, there's a couple of women, but what? And their faces in faces, showing the duality of the situation. You know what Oleg told me? Wilson, what do you think Oleg thought made this whole painting? And, oh, and, and, and I got to tell you, I, I threw Wilson off his game. I told him next week he might have to deal with the wrath of Joanne. That's not a wrath. That's my mother. She's going to be here, maybe. That's right. This hot lipstick right here. He says, that's what centers your eye. He says, everything else is monochromatic. And he said he thought about this for quite a while. Technically, he said it's one of the best paintings I did, but it wasn't. It was 99% finished, but I needed something. And he said it, I added this hot color lipstick right there. And it changes, still a perfect painting, but it's that little detail that Oleg sees. Oh, look at the eyes too. The green eyes, yes. Retail $90,000. Oleg is one of the few Russian artists I know that has sold many paintings over 100,000. Uh, he's done commissions for seven, for two and 300,000. But it's, it, it's funny, Oleg doesn't think about, I mean, he thinks about money, but I'll tell you what, what fascinated Oleg more than anything was, he said, I tell you, Barry, this is at my apartment, I tell you, that dog get used to me. And that is, 
the scaredest hound dog on the planet, that is Ginger, a tan and black coon hound dog that is scared of everything. 40 minutes later, she was ready to leave with Oleg. It's like, all eh, right, Oleg. But anyway, this is the type of paintings. Oleg did work at Collector's Editions, and I just want to show you, this is probably 15 years old. Look at this, here's a, a, a painting that someone was selling in the UK in 2006, 44,800. Yeah, that was 17, 16 years ago. Look at some of the, those are just assigned and numbered posters. But when you start looking at what original Oleg's go for, he is the greatest. This, he told me, is his favorite painting. Now I have Peter Max here. Well, not the artist, but I want to show you some of the greatest Oleg's he's ever painted. I got to grab this one, Ashley, because I think it actually has Oleg's fingerprints in it. It's not mine. <laughs> the star and the moon. Star and the moon. Now, see that right up there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's an artist at work. No, I think that happened when he was unloading it. <laughs> no, I really, I mean, he was, he's lecturing me. Barry, Barry, don't worry, I bring painting. I said, well, I can carry one. He said, oh, you carry the other one. I get this one. And because he carried two. But folks, that is what a master graduate from the hardest art college in Russia. And he was originally born in Uzbekistan. And he was telling me, you know, that's 2,000 miles from Moscow. And uh, he is one of the all-time greats at Collector's Editions. Uh, and once again, that was 15 years ago. Uh, you know, they'd be off asking 40 or 50,000 for this. Oleg is very proud that through Collector's Editions, he became an American citizen. He's got dual citizenship. He was born in Uzbekistan but became an American citizen. Oh, look at this one. And it's going to be Ashley's birthday on Saturday? Yeah. 22. Oh, my goodness. Ashley, which of these remaining, which ones are your favorite? Which one? The date in the moonlight. Oh, yeah. All right. Moon You're a moon child? Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I'm a lover of all things love. So you're a moon child. <laughs> Peace out, baby. I <laughs> mean, Look at this. What Oleg would tell you is this texture is what they teach at the, the Surikov. And it's very difficult. When you look at the curls in the hair and every geometrical shape you can think of, signed Oleg Javetin on the front and the back. It's a 30 by 40 oil on canvas. And I once asked Oleg, I said, so why do you cite it on the front and the back? And he says, I tell you why I cite it on front and back. You ever do business with auction house? I said, yeah, I've been known to. Well, not only do they want to see it on the front of painting, I want, they want to make sure I cite it on the back. 
I can't do a Russian accent. Now you can do French, right, Matt? Yeah, because when I get to my Marcel Mouly, which has a French name, ha ha ha. And Wilson speaks French, right? A little bit. What? What? What did he say? Now, what, 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 what's he saying? I think he's saying that the reason I'm just trying to, he's like, the reason why I like this painting is because of the painting. What makes this painting eye contact? And what he has done with the eye contact is stunning. I once got into, not an argument, but uh, I asked Oleg, so I say, so you finished the painting. This is 12 years ago. We're in Santa Monica. And because I asked a question, he challenged me to a pull-up contest. And we both got to 21 and we called it quits, but he was smoking and I wasn't. But chin-ups. But here's the deal. Look at that eye contact. Now, when you look at that eye contact, the eye in the moon, the smile and the lips on the moon, look at that. You've got a square, a cube, a triangle, a circle, every geometrical shape. And... Let me What's one what's one behind that? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Have we shown this one yet? Oh, this is it. Matt, be careful. Cause this Matt is the cat's meow. All right? Yeah, something like that. It could even be considered the cat's roar. That scared me. She sounded like Linda Blair in The Exorcist with that one. <laughs> Have you ever seen The Exorcist? Oh, yeah. And is your, nah, I don't want to know about it, but nah, I'll leave it alone. This is the date 44 by 32 and a half oil on canvas eye contact you know he, he has to make the hair with putty he does all that and signed on the front signed on the back Oleg Javetin Here is an old collector's editions catalog, and those they turned into limited edition Jaclays that were three and four thousand for a Jaclay. I'm talking about an original here. And now I have shown you. How many have I shown? Four, five? I want to show you something else. Oleg was a tad bit paranoid. I said, Oleg, you know, I've been to Russia. They go, I thought you had. I said, yeah, 2010. That's me in 2010. And I said, look what I also took a picture of in 2010. I said, look, I'm holding v Vladimir Putin. You could buy him for $69. And Oleg says, you better not show that on TV. I say, why not? I'm holding up something they were offering to me at 69 rubles. He says, because people in charge don't like him right now. I said, well, I don't know if I like him or not. I just was offered to buy that. 
I thought that was funny that you're in this big warehouse store and there is now this one again this is 2010 he I don't know so the reason I'm bringing all this up before I start selling oh who, who do you have who do you have online and which one are they interested in this was a book I stole, but I paid for it. Actually, I stole this from my college, but then after I graduated, I gave him money for it. The Age of Inflation. Um, and this is when I checked it out, February 19th, 1982. Whoa, I wasn't even born. Whoa, <laughs> Ashley wasn't even born. 82 was a good year. And it goes in it, you know, it shows you pictures of the Weimar Republic and how you can go from what is known as creeping inflation, 2, 3, 4 percent, to intermediate, which is 10, 12, 14, to hyper, a lot easier than people think. And there are a lot of cases in history, and just because, you know, I wrote my thesis on inflation in the oil business, in my case deflation, after the oil crash, and I got my master's from University of Nevada, Reno, I brought in some of these, like right here, what is this? This is how many million or billion pesos? Look at that, 1909 in Venezuela. But look at this. This is the Weimar Republic in Germany. This is 100,000 marks. And two months later, they issue new currency because inflation is so out of hand. And they offer A hundred million dollar mark note. Look at this right here. One of these is uh, one million marks. Then there's 100 million marks nine months later. Because when inflation gets out of control, what do you want to own? You want to own something rare. And I talked to Oleg about this at length. You want to own fine art, real art, not doodah posters printed in somebody signs. This is a master graduate from the hardest art school in Russia, in Moscow, the Moscow uh, Academy of Fine Art also nicknamed the Surikov. Tell me which one you want, because I know collector's editions would get 20 years ago, 50, 60,000. I know he has sold dozens of paintings for well over 100 and 200,000 Oleg as himself. Tell me which one you want, because I'm so superstitious like Oleg. Patty, I asked Oleg, I said, Oleg, uh, I'm actually two years older than Oleg. I'm 60, Oleg's 58. I said, Oleg, Oleg there's no chance. Uh, I'm going to go before you. And he goes, don't say that, Barry. I said, well, I, he said, don't say that. Knock on wood, knock on wood. And he's running around my house looking for a piece of wood. And he knocks on it. He goes, now you knock on it. I said, well, I think that's plastic. He said, well, go find wood. And I go find some wood and I knock on it. He says, you should not joke about that. And I go, well, anyway. I said, when you go, what do you think your paintings are worth? And he told me a story. He said, you know, when Picasso, after he got slightly famous, not very, but slightly, people would buy his art. And at the time, if you conveyed it into today's money, 
very little, two grand, three grand. Now they're selling for hundreds of millions of dollars. It took a while, but he had a formula. He knew what he was doing. Oleg says, he says, I don't know what happened when I die, but he goes, these are some of the best paintings I've ever painted. Tell me which one you want. Ash, I'm going to make somebody really happy. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You want, you, you think the red hat will sell? I know they're all going to sell, but let's put up the red hat. Lady in the red hat, BC 2064. Now this is the smallest Oleg I have in this deal. Look at that tapestry just bend. I mean, this is what a master graduate of the Surikov. What's the title of this one? The Lady in the Red Hat. Look at those eyes. And Wilson, if you ever meet Oleg in person, don't say, oh, it must be easy painting fingers. Uh, it set him off. Do you know how many way finger can bend? You ever take anatomy class? Your instructor ever forced you to paint 920 different way finger can bend? You got five fingers? Do the math, Barry. All right, collector's editions would have gotten 30, 40,000 for this. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make someone a deal. I need somebody to call in and tell me. You got a rare opportunity tonight. Once in a while, a great while, a, a, an artist of the caliber of Oleg Javetin comes along, a proven artist who has stunned the world. Graduate of the Surikov, two of his paintings hang at the Surikov, and we can make any of this happen. <coughs> There's one I haven't shown yet. Ashley, it's right, no, that right there, yeah. Yeah, that, I want to show it. And Wilson, well, I got to talk to Howard over here. And now, uh, Mr. Hughes, you're dead now, so you shouldn't worry about my germs. Uh, what else can I say, Howard, to help sell this very rare art? You have an autograph, silver certificate that Howard Hughes in person autographed and has been certified by a great company. Two certificates of authenticity on it. Oleg saw that and he says, Barry, you should get 50,000 for that. I go, how come? He goes, he's scared of everything. He's not gonna stop signing name. And he's right, I've only found two Howard Hughes autographed silver certificates in my life. But on this one, Every geometrical shape. And what is the title of this, Ashley? And shouldn't it be sacred moment? Sacred moment. You're thinking scared moment because Joe, Joe Wan might be here. Oh, Wilson, you're in big trouble. Have you ever met her, Patty? Joanne. You met her. Should Wilson run like hell? 
Is it scared lotus? Looks like sacred. Yeah. Sacred yeah. lotus. Oh, this has got a lot going on. This is amazing. You have the face in the face bringing up the question is this person being truthful with this person. Then you have a face right down here. My goodness. Collector's editions. They're out of business, but oh, this would have been 90, 100,000. I have some comps here on some of the Oleg paintings where he got... Uh, Incredible Sailor's Heart, 95,000, and that was a while ago. Let me, let me show you some comps on Oleg Shvetin. Look at this right here. 2011, 11 years ago. Sold on art brokerage. This one was untitled. Retail price 104, asking price 95,000. Oil on canvas. Mixed medium. This is mixed too. And look how he textured that. That takes him a long time. About 10 years ago, I watched him paint for an hour or two. And he knows what he's doing. All right, there's Blue Clown. We find Sailor's Heart because that went up 50 grand, was originally sold for 45, then sold for 95,000 a year and a half later. All right, folks, camera two. I want to work some deals. And hey, let me, hey, and, and Wilson, come in close on one camera. Is it time for this beard to beat the dust? All right, what do you guys think? Should my beard go? Hey, it makes my hair look yellow. What the hell's going on? <laughs> How come my hair looks yellow? It's not. <laughs> yeah, now I got blonde hair. No, I, it's a beard. Let me know if you if you think it's so ugly he needs to shave. Let me know. This is the longest it's ever grown. Sixty. I'm sixty. This is the longest I've ever let my hair grow. She what? She said she loves it, so she's gone to church. She's not a beard person. She's not a beard person. She loves it. Really well, well, thank you. Well, thank you. Susan, which one are you interested in? This is the best I got. This is, in my humble opinion, and I'm going to sit down right here, Wilson. I've been on the air. I am in my 32nd year. I've met a lot of artists. 
The one I have the most trust and faith in, there's several. But Oleg is on the top. He has proven everything. Tell me which painting to start with. And I will give you opens below my cost. Call me. Let me know. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, be careful. Show some manual dexterity. And I did. Tell you what I'm going to do. Ashley. Oh. This is one of my favorite. The star and the moon. I also like it because it's got Oleg's fingerprint on it after he lectured me on how to carry it right there. Um, this is what Oleg does better than anybody on the planet. 2065. Yeah, this is $85,000, $95,000 original Oleg. Signed on the front, signed on the back, Oleg Javetin. Master graduate of the Surikov. Tell you what. I know auction houses, well, don't bring that up, but I'll tell you what. This painting should not sell for less than eight or nine thousand dollars in today's market. You have a master graduate. Lowest it should ever sell for is seven. Six would terrify me, just like Wilson is terrified of a picture of Tom Hanks as he let you float away, Wilson. 5,000 would be a tragedy. A tragedy like one of our operators, Romeo and Juliet. That kind of tragedy, Juliet. Tell you what, I'm gonna make somebody a deal, let's see if they're out there. On this particular painting, $4,000 to open. I don't remember the last time I saw an Oleg sell for 4000 wholesale. They're 18 to 22000 That is an original Oleg Javetin. Stunning. See, her hair is actually a texture. He molds that on the canvas. I mean, it is. Oleg Javetin is unbelievable. Look at that. Matt, how many people are watching me online? What's that? Well, I'll tell you what. That's just online. We don't have me on Direct TV, Dish, 
Ashley, I'm going to do something bold. 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 Not as bold. It's bold, though. We need to take this painting down. Ladies and gentlemen, out of this whole lot, and Oleg is a very matter of fact guy. And he, you know, he's very proud he became a U.S. citizen. He also is, has Russian citizenship. He said he had to do it the old way, the M2 visa, had to learn American history, take tests, and everything like that. And he's very proud of that. He told me, of all the paintings, he said this, if, I don't think, Barry, like I have favorite. Do you have kids, Barry? I say, yes. Which one's your favorite? He said, I love them both. Ah! He said, if I have favorite, it's this one. The, it is monochromatic, subtle but bold, and he kept going to the lips. He says, that color of lipstick. He said, I toyed with it. I thought about it when it was finished. And I said, I loved the painting. I knew it was fantastic, but it was missing something. And he said, the hardest part was not to overdo it. This is a $100,000 Oleg Chavetin. No questions asked. I'm talking to you about art because in inflation, sometimes art does very well. I don't know which art. If I had to guess and make a state, I'd say Oleg Chavetin. He is one of the greatest artists I've ever met. That is oil on canvas, all of the curls in the hair. He had to treat the canvas, put a little bit of putty on it. Every geometrical angle you can think of, look at those triangles on top of triangles, look at that. This is at least a hundred thousand dollar. And I'm gonna cut to the chase, Ashley. And I'm probably losing money at this. This is as good as it gets, but I'm nervous. Until I sell that first Oleg, I'm nervous. Mm. Rock bottom. This is too cheap. Ashley, you know what I pay. This is Oleg's best. This is something Oleg. You know, he has some galleries in Russia that sell everything. He, he doesn't even want to send them there. He's so happy to be back in the United States. I'll tell you what, this is rock bottom. This is a freak, this is a masterpiece, Ashley. I mean, tell whoever gets this, tell your granddaughter, grandson, son, daughter, this is the best Barry Chapel has to offer on this night, one of the best paintings. He's seen in a 20 some years of knowing Oleg Javetin. Rock bottom, $5,000 to open, that is too cheap. $5,000 to open, $200 increments once we get the open. That was Oleg's favorite painting too. Look at that. Do you see all the geometrical shapes, Wilson? How he mixes them? Master graduate of the Surikov. Unbelievable. That's too cheap.
I'm sort of, I'm not glad it didn't sell. I would love to have a collector buy this, but if it doesn't, this is one I can dream about just keeping. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them everybody who I'm talking to here. I've been talking to Howard Hughes. Do you know who Howard Hughes was, Wilson? I was talking to Howard Hughes. Leonard DiCaprio in The Aviator. Before that, Tommy Lee Jones played Howard Hughes in The Amazing Howard Hughes. I think that one was written by Noah Dietrich. Oleg did not want me to sell this. I go, Oleg, what are you talking about? Howard Hughes autographed a $1 silver certificate and it was certified by a very reputable authenticator. It comes with, uh, I think, yeah, two certs of authenticity. What makes this so strange is Howard Hughes was so scared of germs and people. Starting about the time, well, he was that way for a long time, but to look at this and you have Howard Hughes signing this, and I'm trying to see what year this is. What is that, a 1950-something silver certificate? I said, Oleg says, what are you going to sell that for? I said, oh. He says, Barry, you know Howard, you scared everybody. I said, I know, Oleg. Uh, I said, I would probably, I said, I no. He says to me, Barry, you must, this is Oleg, you must put that up for $50,000. How many do you think he signed? I said, I've only seen one other. So list price, 50000 And I said, well, what if I, uh, he says, worst case, Barry, worst case, you drop it down to 35000 Don't ever offer again. Leave it to your kids. It's very valuable. They'll sell it. I said, well, I know I'm a couple years older than you, Oleg, but I hope to be around at least till next Saturday, you know, I mean. But, uh, and I'm not going to ask you 35. I, I got a price in mind. If you call me up, it is rare. Two certs of authenticity. Howard Hughes autographed that silver certificate. My guess is it must have been during his congressional testimony against Senator Brewster because I cannot imagine he was so scared of people that he, you know, would have done it for anybody else. And that is very rare. Call me if you are interested in a price on the autographed Howard Hughes silver certificate. Okay, I got to get busy, Ashley. They don't want to have anything to do with me tonight. It's all because everybody's getting ready for your big birthday party, Ashley. When is your birthday? Saturday. So you weren't born on the 4th of July. No, I was 14 before. Oh, July 2nd? July 2nd. Can you gently move, Mr. Hughes? Don't grab him. <laughs> Folks, you want fondle? Yeah. <laughs> I'll put him back over there, Ashley. I got to keep talking to him. Oh, you oh, now you're talking to Howard. <laughs> Folks, any of you like the Avengers? I do. This is a Zach's original. Zach's is one of the Highest, what's that? 
This is a Zax original. Zax is one of the fastest growing pop artists and I have sold some of his works but to have an original like this listed on the cruise ships I'm told at 14,000 but yeah list is 14,000 but Wilson we're not on a ship yeah I'll tell you what and uh, yeah, Matt, list on that is 14,000. I'm walking over here. I'm an old man, not... That is one of the rarest that Howard Hughes. Hey, this is listed for 14,000, the Avengers. Think about it, that is Howard Hughes. I've only seen two autographs he ever gave. All right, take a look at this Zach's original. Listed on the cruise ships at $14,000. The Avengers. Which Avenger is that? That's Captain America. Oh, you know what, Patty? They asked me to model for Captain America. I had to tell them I have to turn you down. No, they never asked me to do that. He said, first off, Barry, if you want to be Captain America, you got to shave. <laughs> this is 14,000 on the cruise ships. This is, this is an original Zax. And Ashley. Fourteen thousand on the cruise ships. Started zero, two hundred dollar increments. Very few people seem to be watching me, Wilson. Yeah. You think it has something to do with people trying to give places for the 4th of July? That could be the convenient excuse, but that's not. I'm starting at zero. $200 increments. This is on the cruise ships for $14,000, and mine is not assigned and numbered. Mine is an original. That is an original Zax, one of the fastest growing pop, pop artists on the planet. 14,000. And I'm starting at zero. Yeah, that is so cool. Captain America, I was talking to Howard Hughes. Look at this, approved by the Comic Code Authority, 4th of March, independent, Captain America, the Avenger, Done by Zax. Get on the cruise ship right now, Wilson. Do, 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 do. Take the fire drill. Know where the emergency boats are. They give you a couple of glasses of wine. Tell you this is 14,000. I'm on dry land. We have 200, says Patty. And I, I, I got to tell you, I am a believer in the problem of inflation. I really am. I think, I think it's a lot worse than people are telling us. I think you already know that. You don't need people to tell you you're wrong when you know you're right. I'm at $200 on a $14,000 one-of-a-kind original. 
That is, it should be, if we should have started at three grand. This is $14,000 original. 400 has been bid. This is 14,600 has been bid. Oh my goodness. Eight hundred. This is fourteen thousand dollars on a cruise ship. I'm down to one bidder at eight hundred dollars. Ay, 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 ay. Eight hundred dollars going once. Now, camera two. Patty, Juliet, Ashley, Wilson. Where did I go wrong tonight? I had the greatest Oleg's on the planet. A master graduate. I take on the cruise lines. Can't even tell you what company I probably could, but I'm gonna get myself in trouble if I do. This is fourteen thousand dollars. I am down to one bidder at where? Eight hundred dollars. That is an original Zax. Isn't that assigned and numbered? We should go over six, seven, eight hundred. That's an original, original done by Zax. The fastest growing modern pop artist on the planet. 14,000 on a cruise ship. And I'm at 800, and I apologize to the $800 bidder. Who is our $800 bidder? Mr. J. Mr. J, you ever had one of those days? Yeah, I know, I bring in a book called The Age of Inflation. Oh, Kiki, is, is, can we blame Kiki for it? It's your fault, Kiki. Damn you, Kiki! No, I, I'm just joking, Kiki. $800, I know Mr. J. $800 going once. I can't believe it. And pan how close that is. This is original. And show them where Zach signed it. It's not signed and numbered, it's a signed original Zax. 14,000 on the cruise ships right now to get an original Zax. $800 going once. $800 going twice. Fair and final, regrettable. And only if, if I showed people what I pay for this, they'd be crazy. I already am all in. All said, sold to Mr. J. Hang on, Ashley. All right, now, take a look. Pan the room, Wilson. All right, folks, you are looking at a room full of the greatest Oleg's on the planet. I got to blame it on the damn beard, Wilson. I was already ugly. I was already ugly. This makes me worse. It's like chapel. How ugly can you get? 
That's what they're thinking. Which one are they interested in? Which one are they interested in? Oh, well, Howard Hughes, uh, folks, we haven't sold the woman in the red hat. No. Folks. No, I haven't shown the red star. It's 4th of July coming up. But you gotta understand, Ashley. Oh. Unbelievable. This takes him forever. I watched him do this once. And he spent all day getting about four inches of that done. That is sculpted. Hence the mixed media in to the painting. Matt, can you get Oleg one ready? Folks. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Did he think the beard is as ugly as I do? Oh, it's a, what'd she say? No, what did I say? It's ugly. Oh. You know, it's funny because I got a very loving rescue hound dog I named Ginger every time she sees it she puts her hands over her eyes shakes her head folks this is a hundred hundred ten thousand dollar Oleg it's called the Red Star BC 2-0 oh give me an unlucky number Ashley do you see what the number is Oh, ho, ho. Wilson, come here a second. You know why she likes that number? Because she's a devil. <laughs> she is, and it's going to be her birthday. This is, did you, Juliet, have you ever seen the movie The Exorcist? Did that scare you? You didn't sleep for a week. Yeah. Look at this. Folks, this is, I'll tell you what. Fifty-eight hundred to open. That's an original Oleg Javetin. He is one of the all-time greatest Russian artists, born in Uzbekistan. I'm looking at assigned and numbered prices are a lot, but to see something like this, here's what I want to do. I want to introduce you to one of the greatest artists I've ever come across on this planet. Can you, Matt, I want to show you a seven minute, eight minute film on Oleg Javet and take a look at this.
My name is Oleg Zhivetin. I was born in the uh, former Soviet Union. I was born in a small town close to Tashkent city. Tashkent is a pretty big city in Central Asia. It used to be part of Soviet Empire. But when I was grow up, I never knew all of, all of that stuff. I just <laughs> grew up. When I was grow up, uh, I don't know the difference between socialism or communism or capitalism or anything else, all the political crap. I just grew up as a little boy, that's it. I, I just grew up, I love uh, to see flowers, nature, play Indians, actually we play American oh, Indians. <laughs> My earliest memories, I just uh, love to draw. I, I draw on the furniture, on the walls, uh, on the paper. If I have a piece of paper, I, I just draw. My family, we have three kids. I used to have sister older than me and brother um, younger than me. My father is a simple engineer. Actually, he was chief engineer in the furniture factory. And uh, we have simple life. I'm thanks, thankful to my parents because they was educated actually behind their the limits, behind what they need to know in their lives. We have a great library, great library. So I, I wrote a lot. I wrote a lot of American artists, American writers too. And I, I was just a simple boy, I just read a little bit. Uh, the, the important probably we don't have much TV. That time, Soviet Union, Russia at the time, we had just three channels was controlled by government. And we have just a simple corny movies, probably not much news because they don't show news at all. Here in the United States, uh, people always stressful. Why? Because they always see the horrible news. Somebody killed here, somebody uh, has a drug overdose, somebody got a uh, car accident, terrorism here, terrorism here. Always stressful news. Back in Soviet times, no, no, no. Even if Russia has some kind of trouble like this, they never show on TV. They never show on TV. They, they always show positive news. Like, let's say, uh, that farmer got thousands uh, more cows, and that's it. <laughs> the whole news like this. <laughs> If I couldn't paint, uh, I have to make somehow my living. I don't know. I would be probably homeless. But, uh, I cannot do anything else. I cannot do any. Uh, my early age, when I was like 17 years old, and I was in uh, art school, but I cannot make any money from my art. My father was chief engineer in furniture factory. So one time I came to him and I told to him, look, I, I have to make some extra money for my clothes, for my girlfriends were, he said, okay, you can go in my factory and work as a simple blue color factory workman. You can make maybe about 200, 300 bucks a month. And I tried did that. I, I go to the factory and work about three months. And it was so hard and it's, uh, <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. It's not because it's hard labor. Uh, I, I'm not afraid hard labor. It's, uh, what uh, stopped me to do it anything, I start to understand I don't like it. I just don't like it, I start to understand I have to stick what I like. What I, I like to paint and that's it. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be an artist. But I joined the Surikov Art Institute called Vasily Surikov Art Institute when I was um, um, 20 or 21. It's very, very difficult school to get into. Why? I tell you why. Because in Soviet times, to join that school, a lot of, a lot of competition to join that school. Why? Because it's, uh, let's say, just, let's say, take huge megapolis like Moscow. 10 million people live in Moscow. And uh, in Moscow, we have probably two or three schools high end like this, no more. And 200 million people in country. 
And let's say how many thousands of artists who want to join and to be an artist and get that high and high excellent education. Thousands of people. So when you go to there, you, you have to show your artworks. You have to show your skills, your education, and you have to pass it through examination. So when you compete, uh, you, you, you have to take some tests in art, in, in uh, drawings, in composition, in paint, in uh, art history, in uh, language, in a uh, little bit in philosophy. And every test, you have, you have to have excellent grades. If you don't have excellent grades, you just lose. That's it, because school has to choose uh, the, the most excellent person to study. Uh, you have to show real paintings, not photographs, not for portfolio, real paintings. I, so I, I, I take my paintings, I put them in a train, put myself in a train, travel three days, it's big, Russia is a very big country. So from south to Damascus, I travel about three days in a train, uh, take some taxis, so show the paintings, real paintings to the persons who are reliable, who make making decisions. So they can allow it to put you compete a lot of guys show their paintings, it doesn't matter. They, they can see the paintings and they say, no, no, we cannot accept you. We cannot accept you even to try compete. So first step, you have to show the paintings and they can see the paintings and probably they can see some potential inside. So they can say, yes, we can allow you to start competition. <laughs> In Russia, in Soviet times, artists cannot paint even human being or any cityscape or landscape or any nature. It was against uh, religious rules. Simply, I can have consequences. For example, if I paint something like I paint now in Russia, back in Russia, I could be arrested. It's simple as this. Why? Because I don't paint some stupid portraits of some proletarian guys or some party propaganda, uh, what they actually tell you to paint. A KGB guy come to you and say, okay, you have to paint here Lenin or here some Karl Marx and here some revolutionary guards or whatever. And uh, of course, a lot of people say, yeah, yeah, I paint that. And they paint, they got their salary and that's it. But if you don't do it, you don't paint, you paint something else, you, it, very simple, they can arrest you they can abuse you in jail, torture. It's very simple like this. Can spend, let's say, 10, seven years just for nothing, for saying something, or paint some paintings, or create some music what doesn't suit to the music of communistic taste. I just have to change my situation around me so I don't want to go to prison. Why? Because I want to paint certain paintings. It's simple as this. So I moved to the United States, and amazingly, I never was arrested for my paintings. <laughs> Even more, I was appreciated. Here, public start like my paintings. Hi, folks. Ugly Barry Chapel back with you. No other reason to blame it on anything else, Wilson. On a scale of one to ten, how ugly is this beard? A one. I'm as ugly as you can get. No. You just gave me a one. Ten would be okay. You never saw Bo Derek in ten and ten with Dudley Moore. Ugh. It's hot in here, Wilson. You're getting back at me, aren't you? For all the times I let you go to the dungeon. Yes. All right. Folks, Barry Chapel coming to you live. And um, I think we are living through some very extraordinary times. Uh, you know, it's funny because I did study inflation. That's, I got a four year degree in economics from Southern Oregon State College in Ashland, Oregon, but they changed the name 
as it kept growing to University of Southern Oregon. I got my master's degree from University of Nevada, Reno. I wrote my thesis on the oil business and I wrote it on some unusual occurrences that happened. This is actually me, Wilson, when I was 24 years old. Uh, my first business was I drilled, I'd raise money and drill shallow oil wells in the New Angus field, of Corsicana, Texas. It's called West Texas Oil and Gas. And this well happened to be a very good one. It, well, I hit a, form, uh, a formation called the Tawakini, and it was at like 495 feet. We were hoping to get three, three or four barrels a day. This is 1985, 86 or 87. It ended up coming in at about 75 barrels a day, and it produced that for several weeks. And it turns out it produced very well for a while, but it was all because Getty had a well that they had fracked about a quarter mile away and I was getting their oil. But anyway, that was a long time ago, but I wrote my thesis on how the cost changed because in 1986, oil was 30, 35, $40 a barrel. Then all of a sudden, by 1989, it had dropped, or 87, all the way down to $7 and 11 cents a barrel. And I watched Dallas, all the buildings went empty. And I wrote my thesis on what happened in the oil business and how after all that happened, it was actually cheaper to drill than during the heyday and, and stuff like that. But so when I tell you, I think fine art is something if you're looking for some kind of protection from inflation. And I'm not, I'm not telling you that. I'm just suggesting. This is the greatest Oleg guy I've seen him produce since the time I met him. And it turned out to be December 4th, 2006. I've known Oleg, seen a lot of his work. To me, this is the single prettiest Oleg he has come up with. He's come up with some great ones. Here is Sailor's Heart, that in 2011 was on our brokerage for 44800 which was cheap when you look at this Oleg, untitled man and woman, that uh, in 2011, they were asking 68,800. But what is incredible is two years later, Sol Sailor Heart went back on the market for 95,000, was first sold for 44, then someone tried to broker it at 95,000. There's very few artists you can do that with. Oleg is one of them because he is a master artist. He has a master's degree from the Surikov in Moscow. This is what a hundred, $150,000 Oleg looks like. He even, for a while there, two years ago, three years ago, he moved back to Russia with somebody, a lady that was a classmate of his from the Surikov. And they were doing commissions uh, for a large painting, it was 250000 and they did quite well. Oleg is one of the best names I could ever put you in and Russian Romanticism art. But Oleg 
does so much more. This, I think, is the single greatest Oleg I have ever seen, Oleg. I had uh, the Three Graces. I owned that and sold it. I never compete with customers. If you don't buy this, I will, but I gotta, I'm going to offer it to you first. That is as good of an Oleg as you will ever get an opportunity to buy. Look at the face in the face. Look at the symbolism. Look at the eye gesture. That is pure Oleg. Yeah, this is $100,000, $150,000. If collector's editions had this, which they couldn't because it was painted recently, they would have asked that kind of money. Here's what I'm going to do. I hope you're out there. I am telling you, I've been on TV 32, 31 in the books. This is my, I started my 32nd year. I have sold Peter Max, and I've sold everything. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make somebody very happy, I hope. $6,500 to open. $250 increments. Item number is... This is Remembrance. Sixty-five hundred to open. I've known the man. Oh six, sixteen is ten years. Sixteen years now. And it was hard to find. It took me a year to find him, because collectors' editions kept lying to me. He's in Siberia, Barry. He's in Russia. You're not gonna find. Yeah. yeah. That's the single greatest Oleg I have ever seen him produce. Please give that all the consideration if you want the best I have to offer there's one of them. Here's one that was Oleg's favorite. BC 2067. Look at this. Looking into space. 36 by 31 and a half. BC 2067. Oleg said he toyed with this painting. And I, he said, this is my favorite painting. I shouldn't have a favorite. But I said, if I do, he says, this would be it. And he said he looked at it for a long time. And he knew it was finished. He didn't want to overpaint it. And he said, what made this painting in his mind was this shade of lipstick he painted on that lady. Patty likes the green eyes. I do too. But this is what a master graduate of the Surikov in Moscow look at that. Five thousand. Would I have this up at five thousand to open? Two hundred dollar increments. That to me. You want something? In my humble opinion, just an opinion is very, very, very valuable. Very, very, very undervalued today. 
that is it. That is the greatest patterns. That is just stunning. Ashley, you pick the next one. Pick it. Whichever one birthday girl to be. There is no right or wrong answer. That is fantastic. Yeah. What would you price it at? That is the star and the moon. Ashley would price it at seventy two hundred. Oh, your birthday is seven two. Oh. All right. I gotta tell you what. Wilson, if you could come over here right now, we gotta ask Vladimir what he thinks about your price. Come in close on Vladimir. Yeah, for 69 rubles, I could have bought Vladimir. That was me in St. Petersburg, Russia in 2011. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll give somebody a break of a break here. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, this is going to hurt. $4,000 to open. I just price it below my cost, Ashley. I mean, I just, I want to get some folks interested. That is an original Oleg Zvetin. Oil on canvas. Wilson, they don't like me. I think it's a beard. <sighs> Ashley, I will gladly pay you on Tuesday for another Mountain Dew today. Because I want to sound like Wimpy from Popeye. You don't know about Popeye and olive oil? He's a little baby. You've heard of Wimpy on Popeye? Yeah. Bye bye, the sailor man. Doo -doo. Yeah. I actually told Ashley earlier today, because I went 22 hours without a Diet Mountain Dew, I said, if you could do that, also bring an IV bag and a needle. Because I'm just going to have this IV straight into my bloodstream. I can't go 22 hours again without a Diet Mountain Dew. What did she just say? She said, I'll be Nurse Ashley. Oh. Nurse Ashley. All right. Folks, pick one I haven't shown. I'm going to give people some... Uh, I, 
Oh. Matthew. Matthew J. What is his middle initial? MRJ. Matthew R. With the last name J. If you got that backwards, you could be Junior M. All right, Junior. Camera two. If you're not already sold, I'm going to show you the second half of this documentary. But please, this is one of the greatest deals I've ever come across. Take a look at this. Is anybody called up asking for any of Actually, I live here in the United States about 17 years. Why? Because I was invited to work here. I was invited to work here, and it's a very strange story. People saw my artwork actually on the street. When the uh, when Soviet Union was strong, it was not allowed any private enterprise. I, I started showing my artworks right in the street. And some entrepreneurs, uh, some American Russian entrepreneurs saw my artwork, they invited me here. They invited me here in, in the United States. And I came here in 1990. I didn't speak any language at all, any English. I had zero dollars in my pocket. And this is why that country is great. I start work and I start have success. My subject matter is very simple, very simple is uh, I paint mostly romantic paintings. I paint appreciations to the good relationship between people. That's it. Most of my paintings, it's a female and male. And male sometimes give her a letter or a flower. She can read the letter or see the beautiful flower. And she can appreciate his honest suggestions to, to her. Very simple. Why I like that? I tell you why. Because I don't want to produce any negativity. It's already so much negativity in our world, in the movies, in the paintings too, in the music. I try to work in that areas, but I don't want to do it anymore. I tell you why. How many years are going to live? Maybe another 40 years, maybe 30, no more. After all my life I work in, I want to keep some paintings in public. Public going to keep the paintings in their collection as something positive. So people, when they look, they have to have pleasure from, from what they look at. They have to have pleasure. Yes, we have negatives, a, lo a lot of negatives around us. But I believe if we move our attention to more positive, everybody as a society, we're gonna have positive. It's simple as this. Uh, through the deep psychology, we as a humans, a lot of us don't have a simple one nature. Everybody, 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 even simple workmen somewhere in the factory, we all have deep psychological difference, differences even inside us. Each person sometimes can have two or three faces. It doesn't mean that person liar, or it doesn't mean that person a bad person. No, no, no. It's a sophistication of any human being. Uh, it's a sophistication of our internal psychological depths. It's uh, multidimensional, multidimensional of any human being. Art is uh, one of activities uh, close to the intellectual life of the human beings. 
why it's important. I tell you why it's important. Because we are human beings, we are not animals. <laughs> I think the art is the highest expression of human brain in any positions, in literature, music, or visual arts, or mathematics. Mathematics, the high-end mathematics is art, too. It's very important because we are human beings. It's just one thing what divides us from rest of animal kingdoms. If tomorrow human beings decided to save that planet, they can save that planet. If tomorrow human beings decided to destroy that planet, they, they can destroy that planet. The difference, simple lion or simple monkey or chimpanzee, they cannot do that. Uh, but we are, we are humans, we have tremendous power in our hands. And everything belongs to us, to our decision. Art is just one side of all that intellectual powers. That's why it's important. Human beings can have different pleasures. Uh, psychological pleasures, pleasures from music, uh, physical pleasures through touch, pleasures from food, pleasures from relationship. And art is another area where people can get huge pleasures, tremendous pleasures, especially if you understand. If you can teach yourself how to appreciate art, you can get a lot of a lot of pleasures from it. You can see some beautiful painted details or expression of, on a face or combination of colors or combination of colors and textures. You can have huge pleasure for, for your mind and for your eyes. Enrichment, uh, enrichment pleasure, it's just pleasure. It's why uh, uh, Medicis in the past, in the 15th century, they were not stupid. They pay a lot of money to uh, Raphael or to Michelangelo to paint something good, something good. Because we have such a short time live in this world, the longest life is about 100 years, no more. It's nothing. It's 100 years. Some people live 50 years, 30, my little brother was killed in a car accident. He died when he was 33. Very young guy. Uh, we have such a short life to spend that, so my, my philosophy, try and enjoy every minute, everything. Try and enjoy every hour. Don't go into any stressful situation. You don't need to. Try and enjoy, try to make your life happy. Try to make your life happy. That's it, this is my philosophy. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna make a lot of money, it's good. If I don't make a lot of money, I make a little bit money, or no money at all, it doesn't matter, I have to paint. I just cannot do anything else. Folks, that was Oleg. Now, I have some of the most beautiful Oleg's. I, I brought along pictures from my 2011 trip to Russia, pictures of me drilling my first oil well, shallow oil well, in 1985. I have brought comps of umbrella, uh, I'm sorry, of Sailor's Heart, the first Sold for 45,000, two years later, 95,000. I have another Oleg right here, untitled, that collector's edition sold for 95,000. He was born in Uzbekistan and got accepted at, seven, at 19. He tried at 15, couldn't get accepted, but at 19 got accepted into the Academy of Art in Moscow, dashed the Surikov, one of the hardest art schools. He is an amazing painter. I have lowered and lowered and lowered prices. Collector's editions, 
it was nothing to charge 80, 90, 100, 120,000. Look at the one on the easel right there right now. That's a beautiful painting. This right here is pure Oleg. This symbolism is what he painted. He kind of came up with this style at the Surikov. Look at the eyes, look at the eye in the moon. And he calls it mixed media. It's a one of a kind original, but he had to pattern that hair uh, with a special putty. And it is just absolutely phenomenal. Love the signature there. And uh, an orange, some kind of orange mixture there. It's 38 by 21, mixed media, original on canvas. I didn't bring my glasses. Patty, what does it say the retail is on the screen? Oh, the retail is uh, 85,000. 85, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I need to get busy, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh. This is stunning. $4,000 to open. In real terms, I paid more. Take a look at that at $4,000. Pan every inch of that, Wilson. That is one of the most amazing. That's not a signed and numbered piece. And that gets people mixed up because I got ads for signed and numbered like the, the clowns done by Oleg that are 5,500 but there's 500 of them. This is a one of a kind original. Look at that. Look how you can see through the leaf. I mean, he is just brilliant. That's too cheap. And I don't know who's out there, but... Actually, let's put up the largest one I own. And I paid the most for this. Ugh. The Red Star. What's the size on this? 44 by 32 and a half. He writes on the back, mixed medium, not because there was something on the canvas. He starts with a blank piece of canvas. It's mixed medium because he has to put this putty down to get the hair curls and everything. This is the most expensive Oleg I have purchased in a long time. This is $140,000 in galleries. I'm going to work somebody a deal on it right now. the largest Oleg. That is by far the largest Oleg I've had. And if you look at the hand gestures, the eye contact, and how the triangles, circles, spheres, squares, all meet together in what I would call geometrical harmony. All right, Ashley, I got to get serious. Do you have a
pad and paper and a pen. This is the largest Oleg I have on this planet. Master graduate of the Surikov. All right. I'm going to test everybody right now. Ah, oh, what am I signing? <laughs> uh huh. Read the small print. Don't read. Sign right here. Oh boy. All right, she made me sign it, Wilson. So if they cuff you after the show, it was Ashley. I I didn't have anything to do with it. All right. Why is it not funny? I just signed his arrest warrant. You want me to lie about it? No, it wasn't for her, Wilson. It was for Kiki. <laughs> I am going to take, this is most likely below my cost, call the phone bank right now. This is the largest Oleg I own. This took him so long to do. I know, I'm thinking 9,000 watts is. Oh, this is too cheap. I'm subsidizing your purchase at this price. Ashley, this is too cheap. Look how large this Oleg is. This is Oleg Javetin, master graduate of the Surikov. Oh, it's hard to straighten your tie backwards on camera. Are they interested, Ashley? Because I got a price right here. I'm probably losing money at this price. Are they calling on this, you think? Are they calling on this? Why is she pointing at me with a pin? This price is too cheap, Wilson. This is a price I swore I'd never sell it for tonight. You got a call up? I will show this to you. Give us a call. Text us. You want one of the greatest Oleg's? He is fine art. Oleg Javetin, master graduate of the Surikov in Moscow. Star of collector's editions in the United States. Well, are they curious on this one? It was that one. Oh, no, no, no. Right before this was that one right there. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What are they saying? That is a star in the moon. Folks, this is the best. 32 years. I'm in my 32nd year. I have sold Royos, Chagalls. I have sold Picassos. I have sold it all. I'm telling you. For dollar for dollar, Oleg Javetin in 2022, a master graduate of the Surikov, 58 years old. Please. We're coming up, I believe, and I don't want to get myself in too much trouble, 
Wilson, I think they're lying to us about the inflation rate. I go to John Williams at uh, government's, uh, realgovernmentstatistics.com. He says true inflation is about 14 to 15 percent. And I think everybody knows that. And I think once it's reflected in the bonds, you're going to get intermediate inflation. And you'll be glad you have art of this caliber from one of the world's greatest artists. Where's he at? Okay. Uh, yeah. you, you be careful with that one. You know the curse of the old league, don't you? Do I? Yeah. Uh, do I? No, I don't. no, yeah, I don't want to tell it to you because Ashley, uh, according to the curse of old league, it, it can only hurt you if you do it to an old league two days before your birthday. All right, uh, three days before you. We have the open at 4,000? 4,000 has been bid, looking for 42. I'm not going to tell you the curse of Oleg, because the curse is only true, this is today, the 29th? Is that today's date? Today is the 29th. 30th, 2nd. So the curse of the only only happens to people three days before their birthday. Uh, 150 bucks, I'll frame it like a million dollar painting, which it is. Tell you what. Free shipping. And I'm going to frame it to her free, too. Thank you. What's her first name? Miss L. Miss L. Going once to Miss L. Going twice to Miss L. Fair and final warning. Sold to Miss L. Thank you. You be careful of that, because the curse of Oleg only applies to people three days before their birthday. <laughs> Uh-oh, when's your birthday? In three days. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. This is Oleg's favorite painting. It's one of my favorite paintings, too. I'll tell you what. It's all in the lipstick, Wilson. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not inferring about your night gig. But Oleg said he had finished this, and he was looking at it, and he just kept looking at it, and he says, I'm going to add some lipstick. And you can see the eye in the eye. I mean, this is... One of the greatest, look at the geometrical shapes where you have triangles on top of triangles, spheres on spheres. It's mixed media because he puts a putty there to get the hair. This is a one-of-a-kind original painted by Oleg Javetin. Oh, I got a price here. This is my favorite painting, too, of the bunch. All right, Patty, yes, sir. how weak are you? You're strong, right? When I show you the price I'm going to offer this at, I know I ended up at 65, then 6. Oh, this is too cheap. They got a call for Patty to give you this price. I don't want to do this because 
I've known Oleg for 16 years. Oh, look at that. You don't want to be on TV, right? And folks, no, that you weren't on that camera. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Wilson? Camera two. Ever since America's Most Wanted, she used to want to be on TV all the time. One show comes on. I just gave a price too cheap on Oleg's favorite painting. Yeah, this is a wow, wow, wow. If you want to buy an Oleg Javet, and he won't forget this painting. Call me for the price on this. Uh, all right. Now watch this. Do, 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 do. This is my favorite Oleg right there. The last one that was my favorite Oleg was the Three Graces that I bought. And it hung in my house for three years. This right here is called Remembrances. It is 22062. That's what a $150,000 Oleg looks like. You gotta go to a museum to see a painting like this. You might have to visit the Surikov in Moscow to even come close to seeing an Oleg this, this nice. And I got a price on this one. Patty, this is my favorite Oleg of the last decade. He nailed this piece. That is as good as it gets. Signed on the front, signed on the back. Master graduate of the Surikov, the Russian Academy of Art in Moscow, Dash Surikov. Oh. Patty, do you have a pillow anywhere? A pillow. <clears throat> Wilson! Oh! This does wonders for the back. I gotta shave this beard. The beard must be bad luck, Wilson. That is the greatest Oleg Javet I have seen him ever paint. And guess what? That 
And nowadays, about $5.50 will get you a cup of Starbucks coffee. Or is it more than that, Wilson? More? Folks, look at that painting. Oh, it all started when I was a little children. Do you think those racks holding those lights up there are pretty well secured, Matt? Because that one's kind of moving. Eh, no. Are you leaving, Kiki? Oh. It's a beard. Is that candy? I don't care if it's Asian. It's candy. Donut candy. I got to watch my figure. <laughs> Folks. Rick and Melanie. Melanie, call me. Mr. J, call me. Melvin, call me. Barbara, call me. This is the greatest Oleg I have ever seen him paint. Camera two, just call me. And the words of my Yugoslavian former cameraman, Costa Christi, someday you get the bear, someday the bear get you. Bear got me, and I don't hunt bear. I don't even... The only bear I've ever seen I like is Yogi Bear. Hey, Boo Boo. So, call me. Beard's going. It's got to be the beard. Call me. Any customer. That is value right there. This is exactly in 2022 by one of the greatest artists I've ever met, been on TV 22 years, uh, 32 years, 31, I'm starting my 32 years on TV. That is the greatest Oleg I've ever seen. Call me, get a price. I'm gonna move on to some other art here. I got Schofields, I got Marcel Mooley, I got a lot of great art. But here, call me right now, whether you want that, this, oh, look at the geometrical shapes he puts right here. Yeah. How do you moonwalk, Wilson? What do you do, yeah? Oh. I can't moonwalk. Call me. I'm going to make you guys great deals, but I'm going to change to some other art. I, I, you know, I got a Marcel Mooley here that is begging to be sold. I've had four or five calls on my Howard Hughes. I might end up auctioning that. Please just give me a call. Call me. Do you know that song, Patty? What, how's the song? Sing the song, Patty. No. I'm going to make people deals that you won't believe. This is as good as I got. Um, which one? Any of them? For, for example... Mm -hmm. 
There is the signature on this one. Oleg Shevetin. The signature on that one, the moon and the stars right there. Wilson is on the far side over there. Yes. They're all signed on the front and signed on the back as well. That one's signed. All right, I got to move on. I'm offering the best I got 32 years on TV. All you got to do is call me up. I'm going to slash and slash. All right, I can sense it. Juliet, do you think I'm a psychic? You don't think I am. Patty, do you think I'm psychic? Do you think I'm psychic, Ashley? What did I just say? I got it, but I'm, I think you're wrong. <laughs> do you think I'm psychic, Wilson? Watch this. The phone is going to ring one of these one, two, three, may, or four major pieces. I got a timer on my phone. Someone's going to call and buy it at a really, really, really discounted price. And they'll be glad for the rest of their life they did to own an original oil on canvas by Oleg Javetin. Here is my timer. Start. Wilson, within one minute, someone's going to call and buy one. Watch this. And why shouldn't you? I have comps here for 195,000 collector's editions. Got 120,000. And I have Oleg's that I am going to sell at a fraction of that cost because tonight is not my night. I have 30 seconds left for the phone to ring. Are the phones plugged in? That would help. Is anybody texting you, Ashley? Because I'm down to 15 seconds. Well, I got seven left for the phone to ring. Damn, I'm not psychic. Well, I'm going to move off of Oleg. I'll bring up my Marcel Mooley. I got Michael Scare. Yeah, I got. Hey, is that the phone ringing? All right. I forgot about the bouncer, where it's got to come here and then go there, then go there. Uh, oh, here it is. Thank you. All right. Julianne wants what? Which one? Hi, folks. Barry Chapel coming to you live. I have the greatest art. I believe the most valuable. And I look, it's just my opinion. <coughs> it's not the opinion of prime time shopping. It's not the opinion uh, opinion of this channel. I just think we're going to be in a period of inter intermediate inflation, and I think you're going to find that fine art, real, true fine art, is going to do really well. This one right here, my favorite piece, this one. And who are you speaking with? It's, uh, DH. DH? All right, I'll tell you. Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. 
I had this up for 6,500. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, don't do it. Once on the lips forever. Uh, I don't know. All right, DH, let me see where DH is calling from. One second. What? All right, so we're talking to somebody about this one. Matt, have you ever had a night like tonight where everything you do? I think it's a beard, Matt. This is an ugly beard, isn't it? Economics. <laughs> Oh, did you ever go to college, Matt? Graduated UCLA. UCLA. Did you ever take an economics class? I did. It wasn't uh, in high school, but it wasn't my thing. In college, has everybody ever taught you the call girl theory oh, yeah. of economics? <laughs> the call girl theory of economics? I will tell you the call girl theory of economics because they kind of invented it. The value of services rendered are greater before than after, so get your money up front. <laughs> That's my contribution to economics. No, I don't know. Wilson had to learn that the hard way. What do they say? I just gave a price that's so cheap. That is a perfect Oleg. It's the prettiest Oleg I've seen him paint in 16 years. What's he saying? It's beautiful. It is, look at this. This is the nicest Oleg I've seen him paint in 16 years. It's called Reminiscence. I don't know how he did it. This is a perfect painting. This should be in a museum. And that is a steal. That, that, is a, that, that is my favorite. That is sold. That's sold too cheap, but it's gone. No, oh, it's, it's, it's my favorite piece. All right. Now, I am moving on. Okay, that's gone. All right. A date in the moonlight. Oh, that's an amazing deal. I sold that so cheap. Oh, uh, this right here, a date in the moonlight, B.C. 2068. That is so, do you see how cheap I sold that? I did, I did. Oh, that is, they got a deal of a lifetime. Tell them to thank, I thank him. Take a look at this eye in the moon. Yeah, 
This is signed on the front, signed on the back, a date in the, in the moonlight, 30 by 40, oil on canvas, Oleg Javetin. Look how that face comes out of a floating block. Uh, yeah, look at this right here. Oleg Javetin signed right there. You got a block, a cube, a circle, a triangle, a rectangle. And what Oleg told me was amazing. He says, you know, this is what I painted at Surikov. It was done in America in the 40s. Some say the late 20s, definitely in the 40s, and no one did it again. And he says, I've been doing it, and they do it in Russia, but now everybody say, oh, no, no, no style. It's not. It's something I learned at the Surikov. Look at those eyes. Call me. I'm selling things so cheap. Oh, that is stunning. Look at the eyes. Look at the hands. All right. Oh, you got a deal of a lifetime. All right, Ashley. Yes. I'm going to sell the largest Oleg I got right there. Can you put that one right there? See all the sculpting he did on the canvas? That one. Yeah. Put that on the easel. You see, I told you I'm psychic. You didn't even question it. Watch this. Now, first of all, the reason Oleg writes mixed medium on the back, it's an original is he one of the mediums is him sculpting with the putty all this letting it dry then painting it master graduate look at these green eyes looking up to the blue eyes grabbing the red star all right here Wilson Sailor's Heart resold for $95,000. Oleg Javetin. But watch this. Kids, don't try this at home. Ashley, don't try this at all. All right, Wilson, come here a second. I'm going to do it one more time. Are you ready? I'm psychically willing somebody to call up and buy this because I got a price so cheap it is absolutely out of the planet. No, oh, that wore me out, Wilson. I just sent out a psychic reminder to, I don't know, eight or ten art buyers. When they find out the price on the largest Oleg, when I would negotiate with Oleg, this, this is, he says, do you know how hot? Do sculpt that. I go, Oleg, I know, you're the master. I got a price in mind, Ashley. Oh, boy, it's cheap. So you need to call me. People ask, how'd you lose a little bit of weight? It's sending out psychic signals.
You burn a lot of calories doing that. Have you ever been to a psychic, Wilson? I only went once and they kicked me out. I walked in. I go, you a psychic? She said, yes. I said, all right. I got two questions for you. What's my name and why am I here? She couldn't answer me. I figure if she's a real psychic, she would know that. Are you knocking on wood? All right. Within a minute. I'm giving it a minute and a half. With a sight. Now, folks. Mr. R out there. This is the, the biggest uh, Oleg in the deal. Barbara, if you're watching. Barbara, if you're out there. Sandy or Mr. R? Susan. Susan. I got a price in mind on the largest Oleg I own. Melvin. Melvin, yeah. All right. I'm going to give using my psychic timer. Start. I'm going to say within a minute and a half, the rightful owner of this painting is going to call up. And if they do, you got to hang up, Ashley, because that would only get Wilson in trouble because he stole it. How'd you get out of that little window with the big painting? Show them every cube, circle, sphere, triangle. Oh, look at that. This is a master. And he happens to have a master's degree, a master's of fine art from the University of Moscow, Surikov. Graduated with exceptional honors. Well, it's only been 50, it's been a minute. I got another 29 seconds. This is the largest Oleg I have. And I got a price that you will not believe. Right. I got nine, eight, seven seconds. Nobody called. Ashley. Pick out your favorite. Pick out your favorite. Let's do an Ashley Ashley. Now this one I'm keeping for a while. Well, this one is mine. That's your favorite. Yeah, because it's a date of the movie. It's a what? A date of the movie. I think that's you. I this is Ashley's favorite piece. Out of ten Oleg Javetans. Did you get a chance to meet Oleg? I did not. But I need him in my room. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna tell him that, but uh You can tell him that. I will tell him that. And folks. Uh this collector's editions would add up for about seventy five to ninety thousand. Two zero six eight. It is birthday girl Ashley's favorite piece. And collector's editions, 85,000. 
How many different geometrical shapes do you see in there, Wilson? I see the heart. I see a triangle. Is that a heart or is that just a triangle? I see square, circle, cube. Oh, the cheekbones? Yes. That is what they, you know, and, you know, he's always been modest about how hard it was at the Surikov. I was talking to him about it. All right, I got a price in mind. This is Ashley's favorite piece. Has Melvin bought anything tonight? Melvin, Ash is going to be the birthday girl in three days. All right, I got a special, special, special price on this. Look at that. Call me with your offers, folks. This, look at that little eye in the moon. Look at the eye contact. Some call him Russian Romanticism. Uh, Oleg can do things with cubes and geometrical shapes that only a master graduate of the Surikov Art College could do. I got a price in mind. And Ashley, with the price I have in mind on your favorite piece, it is pretty amazing price. I'll bet you somebody calls and buys it. I'm starting the clock right now within two minutes. And Ashley, I got a, oh, that texture is really hard to do. He was telling me about the steps you have to do. Look at that. You got a circle, a, sphe a sphere a square, a triangle, all coming together. I got a price and it will amaze you. I hope you're out there. Also have a Marcel Mooley I'm gonna bring up here before the end. And no, it's not 75, 65, it's not 55, it's not even 5,000. Ashley, if they call, it's not even 4,500. But they got a call right now, and that is Ashley's favorite piece, and it is absolutely stunning. Please, if you are in, let me go over here, camera two. If you are interested in this, whether you're a first time customer or you've been buying from me for 32 years, I got a price on this piece. I believe this is real art. I believe this is exactly the type of art. It's my only, in my opinion, no guarantee, but this is the type of art you want to own. Uh, I think the value is there. 
He, this is Oleg Zhvetin, master graduate of the Surikov. But I think with the period that's about to come, and I did speak a lot of, with Oleg about this, this is exactly the type of art you want to own. And you just hang this on the wall, give it to your daughter, your son, your grandson, your granddaughter. And I got a price you will not believe. Ashley, when they call, when I give you this price, it's going to be sold so fast, you're going to go, that was fast. I have a price. Here's one for $95,000 on art brokerage. Retail. 104,000 asking price 95,000. I got a price for you. Do you have them online, Juliet? Because I got a price. Watch how fast this flies out of here. Who is that? Who is Watch this. All right, this is, this is an Ashley Price special. Okay, I mean, it's only for Ashley, because this is her birthday special. And that is cheaper than, I, I, I think I paid more. Look at that. Is that gone? Gone, gone, gone. Dorothy to the moon. <laughs> Dorothy to the moon. All right. Thank you. That is sold. Now, this is when I ask him about this. Sacred Lotus. He was telling me traditions of Uzbekistan, where he was born. Now, there are more geometrical shapes. And this is very interesting because you have all of this texturing. And you, the putty that he puts to, to shape the hair. Then you have this eye right here. You got a face looking this way, a face inside a face, another face there, all floating on a plane and a triangle. This is beyond belief. This is 2069. And he was telling me about how he tries to mix in all kinds of traditions. And this is a tradition from Uzbekistan where he was born. And that is a very complex painting. Yeah, it's $110,000 at collector's editions, but not here. I got a price. If this painting is talking to you, call me. It's 36 by 36. Oil on canvas. Signed on the front. Signed on the back. Sacred Lotus. And actually, it's not going to be 10,000. It's not going to be nine. It's not going to be eight. It's not going to be seven. This is an amazing painting. And Wilson, you have lurched right in to what he did here. He had to sculpt this this, the eyes. Look how he raises parts of the painting 
off the canvas here in five or six places. He does that on purpose for an effect he's going to get. He did it over here with the reds and the brown golds. I got a price in mind. Tonight has not gone my way, but it can go your way. Please give me a call. It's not even going to be 7000 And even though this is a monumental painting, it's not even going to be 6000 Please call. I have a price in mind on this, and you're going to go, yes. Yeah, I might auction off the Howard Hughes here in a little bit. I bought that Howard Hughes when my dad was alive because with my dad, we would go on Christmas vacation every now and then and we'd go to the Bahamas. And one place we stayed at, it was rumored that Howard Hughes was staying in that hotel. I don't know if he was. And I was nine. And I found a flipper, you know, from a set of flippers on the beach. And my dad kept saying, well, Barry, maybe you should try and find Howard Hughes' room and see if he wants to buy it from you. And he'd be really serious. So I go, you really think so? He says, well, I don't know where he exactly he is in the hotel, but maybe go look for him. And I'd run around with a flipper looking for Howard Hughes. And the damnest thing ever he did, he bought it. No, I, I, uh. Ashley, any interest in this? Because I got a price. An Ashley birthday special on the sacred locust. No interest. Okay. I have a unique Peter Max original right here. Take a look at that. I should have put this picture upside down, Wilson. And then our people, our, our viewers in China could see it right side up. That's how it works, Wilson. This is a unique original Peter Max. It came off of the Liberty. Oh, this is Liberty and Justice for All. Mixed media. I don't have the item number. It was lot. Oh, the uh, Regal cruise ship. I'm trying to find out which cruise ship, but you know these, they get you all liquored up on those cruise ships and they go for a lot. I got comps on Unique Originals for thirty to 40000 on Peter Max. This is not going to be anywhere near it. Just call Ashley. Uh, and I don't, would you know the item number on this, Ashley? Nine four five. It's got some lucky numbers on the back. Some type of ship gale. One eight two two five F. Forty five thousand retail, but I'm not even gonna charge anywhere near that. Just call Ashley. Ashley, what am I in this piece? This is an original, unique original Peter Max. He signed his name in a yellow red. He embellished it everywhere. Where, where am I? What's my cost? Oh, I got a price. You're going to love it. Yeah. 
I got a price, but you got to call me. If you want to own a unique original Peter Max, signed by Peter Max, I'm going to move this. I'm, I'm moving inventory. At a time, I probably shouldn't. Uh, but anyway, any interest in this, call Ashley or Patty or Juliet. Where's Romeo taking you for the 4th of July? No, I think that's a plot, Juliet. I do. I would not do that. Have you ever done that before? Oh, my gosh. What did you think about that, Patty? Yeah, that Romeo wants to take her skydiving. Wow. Yeah. Tell me why I should. Here's your certificate of authenticity. Oh, this is rare. It's one of my favorite pieces. Yep. It's got the seal and everything. Certificate of authenticity. It comes with everything you need from major authenticator. Oh, boy. There is Howard Hughes signing a silver certificate. Now, I don't know if any of you saw the movie, The Aviator. There have been two major movies, at least, on Howard Hughes. One was called The Amazing Howard Hughes. And Howard Hughes was played by Tommy Lee Jones. And then, more recently, Leonardo DiCaprio played the aviator. Hughes was so scared of people, germs, that he would do all kinds of bizarre things. And it started in his 30s, 20s, 30s, and doctors would try and help him. You couldn't. He was so scared. And take a look at that silver certificate that was autographed, signed by Howard Hughes. And look at that little tag where it has been registered as authentic. I've only seen one other. It had to have been maybe at one of the congressional hearings. I don't know. But he would have to use his own pen. I mean, my goodness, at the very end, he had fingernails eight inches long. Uh, you know, he, was, he got crazy at the end. Now he had two airplane crashes. Oleg told me not to sell this for a penny less than $50,000. Simply because that is one of the, at the time, the world's richest man. He set the longest flight, the fastest flight. Hughes Aviation is still around today. And Oleg himself said, Barry, you put that up for 50000 I go, Oleg, that might be a little pricey. Said, no, it's not. How many of them have you ever seen? I said, well, in my entire life, I've only seen... Two authenticated autographs of Howard Hughes. He says, well, if you don't sell it at 50, a month from now, put it up at 35. But don't sell it for a penny less. Leave it for your kids. This is one of the most important items you've had. And he might be right. I'll tell you what I will do. I'm thinking about auctioning this.
Hey folks, camera two, please don't hurt me on this. This is one of the most valuable items and it means the world to me, but it, it's an original autographed, well, it's been autographed by Howard Hughes. You have the certificate of authenticity from a major authenticator and that's why the seal is on the silver certificate that Howard Hughes autographed. Oh, don't do this. I hope you don't hurt me on this. I think, honestly, I think it's worth fourteen to 20000 but I'm going to start an auction at $2,000, which is, I shouldn't. $2,000 to open, $200 increments once we get the open. And what is the item number on this? Ashley, birthday girl. No, 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 no. It's 2072. Is that the item number? Yeah. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of sevens and twos, and I know that's her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> now, Patty, you would have noticed if every item number on the jewelry show ended in seven two, right? <laughs> $2,000 to open, I most likely paid more, and that was a long time ago. I turned down offers more than $2,000 tonight. $2,000 to open on Howard Hughes's autograph on a, look at that, the Spruce Goose, he didn't like calling it that, that's what, uh, Senator Brewster, Owen Brewster called it. He called it the Hercules. I visited that plane when it was in Long Beach Harbor. And it was a, a trip. It was a huge plane. He threatened to leave the country if it didn't fly and he made it fly. Who is that making me all the offers on this? What was that? Susan, I'm going to open this for 2000 This is rare, rare. This is beef tartar rare. I've only seen one other certified autograph of Howard Hughes in my entire life. And to have a very serious authenticator, and you have that, uh, the certificate on the back. Oh, that's a shame. And well, I'm actually happy because I want to keep this. But I don't ever want to compete with my customers. At 2000 I'm actually losing money. Oh, I only got 11 minutes left in the show, Wilson. Uh, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Now, Ashley, 
for the birthday girl to be I can't stand this one up. Ashley, I'm going to move Howard Hughes away. Mm. Can you put this gently on the easel? Yes. And folks, Yeah, look at that. These are the great. And folks, uh, let me go to camera two. I sincerely believe that we are in for a time where real art, and Oleg is real art, is going to see some very serious appreciation. I can't promise you that. I just, like I said, I got a bachelor's and a master's degree in economics. I wrote my master's degree on the deflation in the oil business and then how it reinflated. And I'll tell you what, I wrote it on the deflation part, but even after oil had fallen, it was still cheaper to drill because cost of drilling fell more than the cost of oil, which got plummeted, pummeled. I absolutely believe that in the next 10 years, next five years or sooner art, from real artists, from a master graduate of the Surikov that has international handlers is going to be amazing. That's just my opinion. And I have three of them up here. And Ashley, I'm not just kissing up to the customers. I'm slobbering all over them. I have these three. I'm going to lose some serious money. That's the good news. Bad news is I got eight minutes left. Call on these three. Pick your Oleg. I personally believe, being in my 32nd year on TV, I know what I paid for them. I know what galleries pay for them. I know what he sells them for in Moscow and St. Petersburg and in the United States. I've seen some of his biggest commission pieces where him and a classmate were getting $250,000 a commission. And I have these three and I got a price right now. You're not going to believe it's not $10,000, which it should be. It's not nine, it's not eight, it's not seven, it's not six. It's not even 5,500. I have seven minutes left, call me. I am, Wilson, I'm going to wheel and deal. I want you to own these. This is one of the three, in my mind, the three greatest artists I have ever handled over 32 years on TV. I've handled some great artists. I've met great artists. I met Leroy Neiman when he was alive. I've met all, a lot of them. I'm telling you, this guy is the real deal. It's not going to be even $5,000. That's one of the largest ones. Call me. Patty, I got a price in mind that whether you're a psychic or not, if you call and you're sincere, you will get one of the greatest artists I have ever handled in my 32 years on TV. Call me right now, please. And Wilson, I promised 
a nice lady named Sharon Dawson. I would show her a picture of my dog. There is Ginger, the scaredest hound dog on the planet. She's two and scared of everything, but mostly my beard. All right. I am. For Ginger, yeah. I'll tell you what, it's not even 5,000. Ashley, if anybody doesn't own an original, look at that, that's the largest one I got too. It's in this group. Please call. I have these three, I got, and I am got a deal in mind. All you have to do is call. 855-474-6778. As my late father would once said, you've no one's ever been shot over the telephone. <laughs> I got a price. It's not even $5,000 each. Melvin, if you're watching. Susan, if you haven't gotten one yet, please call. Rick. And Melody, call. Barbara, call. I got a price. I'm going to lose money on two of these right now. I got to bring some money in. And I am running out of time. I only have three minutes left. I'm going to go on to streaming live for just a couple minutes. Here is a very rare deluxe edition JD Challenger Serograph. Look at that. One of the greatest Native American artists, JD Challenger. 36 of 50, deluxe edition. Call me. Tell me which ones, what you want. I am wheeling and dealing here, folks. If anybody wants an Oleg, a JD Challenger, a Peter Max, I'm going to make deals you do not believe. Tell me which, what you're interested in. I got two minutes. Are they interested in any of the, uh, the Oleg's or the JD Challenger? Okay, I got a Peter Max, call me. Less than 5,000, just call. Which, are they interested in any of these? No? I hope you're out there. Melvin, I'll work you a deal of deals. I'm talking sweetness, Melvin. Oh, sure. All right. Um, I will bring it over here. I got 30 seconds. Go to www.primetime.com. Watch this. Melvin. You're talking about this one right here. This is the one Melvin's talking about, right? What's the best price of the Red Star? The Red Star, best price. It's cheap. Hey, watch me. Keep watching. Keep watching on live streaming. That is so cheap. Is that gone yet, Patty? Because that was a mistake on the price. Melvin, do you want this? You can see me on live streaming. I got to sell a couple of these right now. 
Which, which one are they interested in? Hang on, I'm moving away from the Oleg's. Oh, I'm in the shot. Yes, which one are they interested in? Yes. Which one is he interested in? I will work him. The red star, the largest one. For Melvin, watch this. And Melvin, thank you in advance. Watch this. Losing money. Oleg loved this painting. When I buy from Oleg, sometimes he just talks a little. He talks so much about how hard it was. Yes. And that is stunning. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, are they registered? Yeah, yeah. All right. I hate to do this. 2000 it's theirs. I'm losing money on my favorite Howard Hughes. Yeah, they're used to So we got Melvin and we got somebody on this. Oh, Melvin's on this. Melvin, look at the green eyes. I mean, this is remarkable. What, what did he say? No, I'm trying to shave it, to be honest with you. Uh, is he, is, am I on live streaming? Uh, what, what's that? No, uh, 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 let me let me just talk to Melvin here. Melvin, uh, I did this. My son has a beard, but it's black, and he is 25. I just started this because my daughter said, "Hey, we've never seen you with a beard," and so it was cool for about a week. And then my son said, "You've got to let it grow another week." So I let it grow another week. Now I'm in week three or four, and I'm going to shave it as fast as I can. I really am. It scares my dog. But my dog's scared of everything. So I don't know if it's the beard, but does he really hate the beard that much? Oh, this is a steal at that price. Okay, and who was calling on the Howard Hughes? What's the deal on the Challenger? The Challenger? JD Challenger. Oh, a thousand dollars. Someone's thinking about this. Any other calls? So Melvin probably wants this one. Is that what you're saying? Correct. So this is kind of sold. Okay. Well, let me take this down. Now, if you don't own an Oleg Javetin, actually, I'm going to hand this to you. I'm going to get it. This right here, when you look at this, I got a price in mind for this. 44 by 32 and a half, the date. Now, what Oleg has done with this piece, 
the eye contact, that red line separating the canvas. 44 by 32 and a half, he writes on the back, Oleg Javetin, mixed media. It's a one of a kind original, but it's a mixed media because he has to sculpt all of that. And I've watched him paint before about two or three years ago. He's meticulous. He is a master graduate of the Surikov. Now I had this up at seven, then I lowered to six, then I lowered to five. I got an extra, 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 extra special price. If you call me up right now on the date, mixed media on canvas. Look at that, that is absolutely stunning. Look at that dress right there, Wilson, look at that. Look how he puts a square in between the flower, paints the flower three different colors, has a triangle inside a square inside the dress, has that hand coming out. Oh, that is brilliant. This is why Oleg is, in my opinion, one of the greatest Russian artists. He's born in Uzbekistan. Got a master's degree from the Surikov. Was accepted to the Surikov at 19, I think. He tried to get in at 15, at 17, he went to a state school, got a four year degree. Call me. I have a great price on this. And Matt, this is called the date. Anybody else? I want to wish you a safe 4th of July. What day of the week is the 4th of July? Tuesday. What? Monday. Monday's not the 4th of July. Monday is the 4th of July. Today is Wednesday the 29th. And my birthday is Saturday the 7th. Well, tomorrow would be the 30th. And Friday is the 1st. Friday would be the 1st. And Saturday would be the second, your birthday. A lot of fireworks are going to be going off. Oh, yeah. All right. Did you, did you like she hates them, scares the heck out of her. No calls on this. It's not even going to be 4,800. Call me. I'll work you a deal. I got to sell one more that I'm getting off the air. Uh, why am I doing this? This is as good as it gets. Well, I want to thank you, folks. Thank you for letting me come in your homes and sell my goods. But, Wilson, didn't I look a lot healthier back then? That was 11 years ago. My hair was black. I probably dyed it back then anyway because I started going gray early. Well, thank you, everybody. Any last calls on Oleg, Howard Hughes? Call me. Thank you. I will be back next Wednesday. And any, any last deals, please let me know. Thank you. God bless you and be safe over this holiday. Bye-bye. Don't kick the dog, Buford.